Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to incorporate ordinal information by using dummy variables. So let's take an example of municipal bond interest rate and how the municipal bond interest rate depends on the credit rating of a city. And this credit rating variable, it takes on four values from zero to four. And zero is the worst and four is the best here. So normally we would expect that as the credit rating of a city increases, the municipal bond interest rate decreases for that city. But if we regress a model like this, it's very very hard to interpret the coefficient on credit rating. Because this beta 1, it represents change in municipal bond interest rate when credit rating changes by one unit. That is, it changes from 0 to 1. But as we know that this change is not constant. For example, credit rating from 0 to 1 is not the same as credit rating from 3 to 4. Right? So if a city moves its credit rating from 0 to 1, it is different than a city improving its rating from 3 to 4. Hence, it's very hard to make sense of this coefficient beta 1 in this case. A better way to represent this model will be to use a model like this model. In this model, we have omitted credit rating of 0, right? So this CR1 takes a value of 1 if the credit rating is 1 and 0 otherwise. Similarly, this CR2, it takes on a value of 1 if the credit rating is 2 and 0 otherwise. So we can create these different dummy variables. The interpretation of these delta coefficients will be in relation to this omitted category. For example, coefficient on CR1, it represents the difference in the municipal bond interest rate of a municipality with the credit rating of 1 as compared with the, our omitted category that is a municipality with credit rating of 0. And similarly, all these coefficients will represent the difference in MBR between a municipality of a respective credit rating and a municipality with credit rating of zero. All right, so this is how you incorporate ordinal information on the right hand side of your equation. Later on uh, in this course, we will talk about how to incorporate a dependent variable which is ordinal. But later, uh, I'm going to show you two examples in R. Those will use ordinal information on the right hand side of a model. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.